Hello everybody, this is Bob Gillio. I'd like to do a short video for you just to show you how to fix a backyard drain pipe. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of yards have these and this may be helpful for you. So um, this particular one is right on the edge of my property and I've been talking to my neighbor about it. Um, it's The location is not uh, a good one. So let me just show you. Here's a berm right here and uh, we just built this berm out about five years ago and put some nice mulch here and we didn't realize that there was a drain pipe right here that drains uh, from the backyard of my neighbor um, and when it really starts to rain hard this flows very very high flow of water it comes out and washes down um, down this gully here the edge of the berm and causes the the mulch to all come out and get washed away on the lawn so to fix this problem uh, my neighbor and I uh, has, have decided to uh, basically stop the flow here and we traced it back up here to this point and it comes all the way under the ground to here as you can see it's not very deep and it's even cracked so uh, within a few years this is not going to work at all so uh, to head off that problem and not cause any other drainage problems further up in the yard we decided to go ahead and cut this off and put some fittings on it and um, and have the water come up come out of the ground here so we're going to show you how to do that on this this episode so the first thing we're going to have to do is to cut this pipe we're going to cut it upstream of any of the cracks so this is this is the most upstream crack right here and to cut a pipe i'm going to use a sawzall with a very large blade on it like this one just get that in view for you so that's a 10 inch blade and those blades are kind of hard to control and you don't always get a straight cut with them so you have to be very slow and very careful as you notice the teeth on these on this blade is for it's metal cutting but it's a very fine tooth it can cut plastic as well and you don't want a, a, a rough blade or, or a, a, a blade with only a few teeth because it'll rip, rip the pipe apart and cause more cracking so what we're going to use is this blade and then to make sure that we get a straight line a square cut we're going to take just this piece of flashing material anything will do cardboard paper uh, even some some copper flashing would work just you just wrap the pipe with the flashing and when you do that it gives you a nice square uh, line for which you can cut uh, and, and have the guide for the sawzall so when, you, when I'm done cutting it'll be nice and square okay so now I've used a sharpie and I've marked the line where it's along the edge of this piece of flashing, this uh, uh, flashing, and we're gonna get now put the sawzall on and make the cut. Okay, so we made the cut. You see a nice square cut now by using that technique and cutting along the line. You see how we got it nice and close along the whole way. So that that's a very good guide. And you can see a little worm in there. Get that worm guy out of there. Anyways, this is the other end of the pipe we're no longer going to use. I cut it kind of an angle so that uh, any water that does come up here we, we could actually go down that pipe. Uh, and it'll be a small amount. So we're going to leave it like that. Okay? Okay, so we cut out the pipe, the broken pipe, that continued on to here. And we're going to make a break in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put an elbow on it like this. Schedule 20, lightweight, 4 inch drain pipe and with a nice square cut that I made I showed you how to do that and now we're going to put this fitting on it like this we're not going to use any glue because if you wanted to change it around in the future you can just take it apart the soil will hold everything in place once we're done now I'm putting an elbow on it so then I can pitch it down deep enough into the ground so that I can then put this pop up now the way a pop up works is when the water goes high in the pipe, this will open up automatically and release it. And gravity will make it fall back down again. So it's gonna be like a little pop-up valve that you will see, and you need to see it for maintenance. But we're gonna set it with a piece of pipe, just about even to the, to the height of the grass. So that when the water is flowing this pipe, it's gonna flow around here, pop this valve up like that, and it will naturally go out down the berm okay so i cut the piece of extension pipe and as you can see i assembled it all so uh and like i said we have now an adjustment so i can adjust this to up or down to keep it level with the ground as you see that so we'll do that 
and everything is dry fit. I'm not going to use glue on any of these joints, so you can always reconfigure it if something doesn't work out. So um, that is the, uh, the design, and I think it's going to solve uh, the problem of the water going through this pipe for a little while before the dirt would have filled in because it was cracked. So, it, so I'm going to fill this pipe. In. I'm just going to fill the hole in. If anybody ever wants to access that pipe, they can, but uh, it won't be used anymore. Okay, and now all the water will be diverted here uh, through this elbow and then turn up, come out of the ground, and then it's gonna go right down this swale right here, which is designed as a drainage easement. So that's, this is where the water should go. Uh, it can also go down this way, but not right into my mulch bed. So it's gonna save some time on maintenance and uh, hopefully flow much better than what it was before and uh, also avoid the future problems with that pipe being clogged because it was cracked and filling with dirt. Now all that's left to do is to backfill it with soil and then we're going to put some nice uh, high quality loom on top. We're going to reseed the area. As you can see, some of the grass is sparse back here. So we're going to reseed, uh, backfill with some fill material like we took out of the hole, and then we're going to top it with some nice, rich organic soil. Okay, so we put down the, the very rich topsoil, uh, and you can see that I seeded it. So we're going to now just water it, and project completed. You can see now that the pop-up drain if everything works well will be right there pop up water come out and go down there uh, down the down the back of that berm so we're good to go thanks for watching